Hello, it is the spring equinox. This is the beginning of a new year. And I mean, yes, with the new year and what we've been talking about, about Jupiter and Saturn going into Aquarius in late December. Yes, we've already had this kind of new beginning, but I think especially just where we are right now with uh, the whole COVID situation and considering it's been uh, a year and especially considering the spring equinox, regardless of whatever happened in that previous that previous yearly cycle the spring equinox is the beginning of the the new year it's the official new burst of energy in the northern hemisphere it's spring but all around the world it's this new excuse me this new birth of life this new spark of okay let's move forward and i think that this is it's very refreshing i feel it on a microcosmic personal level and I think on a macrocosmic level we're all we're all ready for this we're all needing this this burst of energy to move forward of course COVID is still in this in the situation and like I said before I'm going to be working on how to heal from the COVID era series actually um, in the very near future over the next couple of weeks uh, I should have that finished as well as finish editing the book and whatnot uh, at least the, the first volume by by mid-May at the latest so I'm I'm enjoying this this burst of inspiration and spark of of momentum and action and I think that's a key thing for all of us is to stay focused on a positive course of action um our goals that are helping us to grow Aries is an energy that is all about action it's it's birth it's it's like it's it's like being born running you know so I think this next 30 days is uh, really wise to not just come up with ideas where that's where we were largely with February kind of figuring out with the Mercury retrograde and all that Aquarius energy the intellectual energy okay who am I what do I want to get going for this this next year what is my ideal dream life what are my goals what can I contribute to society a lot of planning has been uh going on up until this point this year and really that happens every year with capricorn and aquarius and then pisces but i think especially for for this year this is all the more important because we've had jupiter and saturn and aquarius and these energies are all about long-term visions long-term goals and plans so i think that's something that can be really helpful because we're coming out of the gate not only are we running because of the sun and aries energy but also because Mars is in Gemini, Mars rules Aries. So this, these two transits of Mars and Gemini and Sun and Aries really go hand in hand. And, um, we'll get to that in a second as per a a good challenge or a couple of challenges to keep in mind. But I think this is a really wonderful opportunity for all of us to just move forward to, to have our ideas and our ideals that we've been hashing out, especially since February guiding us, but to, to move forward to again i can't say enough action it is time for action now um before we even get to the whole gemini thing there is one thing i want to keep in mind for all of us is venus is also going into aries uh so that too whenever an energy enters uh the region of space known as aries it's the beginning of a new cycle so for example jupiter will be beginning a new cycle um in about two years time or so saturn in about five years time whenever an astronomical body enters aries it's the beginning of a new cycle so venus is also not only entering uh or not only is the sun entering aries or already is in aries venus is right on its heels so that too our relationships how we give and receive love and affection is about to begin a new cycle too it's like a new year for venus too so i think the thing to keep in mind though is our our minds mercury transiting mercury is in pisces and it will be for the next several weeks and it'll be conjunct neptune at that so this is this is a little tricky and i think this actually goes hand in hand with that mars and gemini transit we really need to be patient with ourselves we need to be patient with others um, with Mercury and Pisces, it's a really wonderful opportunity to connect to the subconscious realm consciously with our minds, but that's the best of it. The challenging part can be to get caught up in the subconscious and to, to lose our train of thought, to not be able to focus, to not be able to think logically. All of this is not inevitable, and really all of this is only going to happen if we're not really grounded and if we're not 
um, connected to our subconscious. So if we're connecting to our subconscious, if we're meditating, if we are taking time to reflect, especially again, whenever an energy is in the realm of space known as Pisces, that is the last of a cycle. And so Mercury has been going through all the different energies. I don't know the exact uh, number of days, but roughly a year, something like that. It's been a year since we've experienced Mercury transiting Pisces. We experience Mercury and Venus going through all the different energies every year, just like we do with the sun. We're still in this time period of resolving. So having ideas, thoughts, communication, this is a time whereas the sun is about action you know and again mars and gemini is about okay let's put our words into action let's put our ideas into action mercury in pisces is saying hold on i'm not ready yet it's not to say we can't make progress there's always opportunity to make progress um but again we need to be patient we need to take our time and i think especially since venus is going into aries just almost i mean probably by the time you even are watching this video and we have so much other air energy in particular the mars and gemini there's a big inspiration to just rush 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 and especially even if people don't know that it's the spring equinox and that it's the beginning of a new yearly cycle i think there's and because of what's going on as per the vaccines in the world and whatnot i think there's a wish to just kind of move forward without any baggage and there's always the past. The past is always there and we have to take account of it or it's going to it's going to mess up our present, mess up our future. So we need to take the time to reflect on this last year. We need to take the time to heal. We need to, hence again, why I'm doing that series um, for everybody's sake, you know, for my sake as well as other, other people's. I learned so much from doing this series. And for me, it, it would be nice to reflect on this last year and, and how to heal for all the different sun signs and whatnot. Um, so I think that's something that's really good to keep in mind. Yes, it's about positive energy and forward momentum and action, uh, putting our words in action, our ideas in action, but we need to take our time. We need to be patient over the next couple of weeks. We've entered spring with our minds still in winter. That's a good way to look at it. And Mercury will be joining Aries again in the next, uh, probably about two weeks or so from now. I don't know the exact date, but it will be conjunct Neptune over that time. So we need to really connect to our subconscious and make sure that, you know, as long as we're doing that, then we're going to be able to, to focus our energy and our actions in a very effective way. And also, this is the, the challenge I wanted to bring up with Mars and Gemini. If we're connecting to our subconscious, we're staying patient, we're not trying to rush or force anything while still seeking to make progress. Um then we're going to be able to avoid the impatience and the the snapping verbally. That's a big challenge. And I think especially with Venus entering Aries too, it's really important for all of us to make sure that we do not say things without thinking about them. We need to calm down before we're having conversations, especially if they're really emotional conversations. We need to make sure... Again, I can't say it enough. We are taking our time. Yes, moving forward. Yes, having necessary conversations. But making sure we're breathing, making sure we're not getting caught up in the heat of the moment. Because Mars and Gemini on its own is all about rush, 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 say, do, you know, like, again, there's beautiful things about that energy in so many different ways. But I think the challenge of it is being exacerbated all the more because we have the sun and Venus soon in Aries too. And those again are both ruled by Mars. So Mars and Gemini has a huge boost right now. And that can either be an incredible boost in uh, rocket launching, positive thinking, um, speaking effectively, communicating effectively, listening effectively way, or and having great ideas and then putting them into practice way, or it can be an exploding, just saying what comes up on top of your mind, cutting with our tongues and, and hurting other people's psyches, whether we realize it or not. So again, breathing is essential. Taking our time is essential. Um, and I think it's good to keep that in mind that while this energy is positive and wants to move forward and it's important to channel it, we also again our minds are still in winter we're still resolving a lot and i think this last year was a tremendous amount to resolve so uh, just take your time 
take your time, reflect. Again, I can't say it enough. Meditate, make sure you're getting enough sleep. And I think this Mercury and Pisces energy will be really great to work with. Infinite love to you, my friends. Namaste. And again, just keep in mind those long-term visions for all of this year. Jupiter and Saturn will be in in Aquarius. Jupiter will be in Pisces for a small amount of time, but largely it'll be in Aquarius this year. So, uh, and over the next couple of weeks too, we can make tremendous progress. Really, really tremendous progress. I'm excited for myself and for my goals. And, uh, you know, I'm excited for all of us to be able to to move forward. So we can move forward during this time. We just have to kind of swim the river of the subconscious in our minds a bit and, uh, ensure that we're not getting caught in any kind of negative emotional whirlpools or anything yeah and making sure to to be empathetic and to understand as much as possible about what other people are thinking and feeling too peace